can't go shopping in this weather. It's sunny and 72 degrees. Which means an 80% chance of having to smile at people. No, thank you. I feel so bad for poor Brooks. Being dumped is no picnic. You should know you've been at that picnic many, many, many times. Not this time. Brooks's email is so sad. Look. Africa is great, and I hope all's well with you. Clearly, he's devastated. He is. Read between the lines. It's only one line. There's nothing to read between. <sighs> Bertram, can you watch the kids while I'm gone? As long as they're standing directly in front of the TV, no problem. Hey, Bertram. Have you seen Jesse? Well, I try not to see any of you. But I did hear her babbling something about going to talk to Brooks. How? He's in Africa. Who knows? She just told me to look after you all, so... If you run with the scissors, try not to use my good ones. Bertram. Bertram! Ow, oh, mucky muck in the funky bunch. That hurts. Wait, why would they think I went to Africa? What did you tell them? Just what you told me, that you wanted to talk to Brooks. On the phone, which is the only place I have his number. That's why I dropped it off to get it fixed. So they went to Africa for nothing? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> now that's hilarious. Also, now you don't need to go to the doctor to get that warp removed. Bertram, what's your excuse? It's 110 degrees. Next time, run away to Antarctica. Yeah, or here's an idea. Don't run away at all. Ooh, let's not be too hasty. Bertram, you are never allowed to talk to the kids again. Done and done. Hi. Poor sweet lug. He'll probably never recover. If I don't get some fluids and an ostrich burger, I'll never recover. I say we offer Luke to the lions and make a run for it. Try to stay as calm as Bertram. Oh, I'm not calm. I'm paralyzed with fear. On the inside, I'm doing this. We are about to be bubbled to burning by a pack of germs. What? Wait a minute. Something's missing. You're right. Where's Emma? Who cares? I'm talking about my bearded vulture, Tea Cozy. I found it. I'm gonna nickname you Vulchi. Uh... <laughs> Our little Luke is growing up. Soon he'll be applying to trade schools and getting his own probation officer. I'd like to apologize for being so insensitive this morning. So, I got you. An electric razor. It won't cut you like that cheap plastic thing Jesse gave you. My boy, welcome to the facial hair fraternity. Remember, never overdo the aftershave and be ready for the day when the hair leaves the head and starts growing from your nose and ears. <laughs> and in your case, shoulders. Speaking of which, let's start by trimming that neck hair of yours. <clears throat> Ah. <laughs> Refill, please. What? What's wrong? Nothing. It looks great. Doesn't he look great, Zuri? Bertram? Zuri? Hide! <laughs> Hello? So, Bertram, why didn't you tell me you carved a moat in my hair? I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Stay away from us! I've got a spatula here, and I'm not afraid to use it. You look great, Luke. That shirt really goes with your very lifelike liquid hair. Oh, yeah. Now, is that matte or semi-gloss? The TV is all yours, Luke. You can watch anything you want. Maybe you'd like a foot massage. Give him a foot massage. Why me? You're younger. You have more years to forget the horror. Well, you're older, so you have less time to be haunted by the memory. <laughs> Luke isn't done with us yet. Revenge is a dish best served cold. You should know all your dishes are served cold. Your business. Stand back. I'll take care of this. You can't pull up! Wow, you guys really don't like getting mail. Oh, 
no. Oh, no. My One Direction nesting dolls. <laughs> I just annihilated Niall. <laughs> you know, Bertie, just once I'd love to hear, hello, Rhoda, don't you look lovely today? Uh. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> Bertram, how did you get in? I locked the door. Yeah, I think it's still locked. What are you doing here? I thought Chesterfield said you could stay in your old room. She did, but then she kept wanting to tuck me in. Uh. <laughs> can I stay with you guys? Only if you can sleep on a toilet. Uh, I do it all the time, but I didn't bring any magazines, so get one of your boring ex-boyfriend stories ready. <sighs> hey, guys. To help out, I got a job as a bike messenger. <laughs> when did you learn to ride a bike? Oh, I didn't. It took me three hours to walk this thing seven blocks. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. I have a package for you, Rhoda. Oh, where do I sign? And what a delightful coincidence that you're the one delivering it to me. This is the tenth thing you've had me deliver to you. And by the way, it was really fun carrying that gigantic net on my bicycle. <laughs> oh, it's my laptop. I was having it. Can't stop this thing! Wait, 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 What's wrong? Should I get Jesse or someone helpful? <laughs> ah, no! I told you! Someone ate my hoagie! <laughs> Who cares? I do. It had eight kinds of cheeses from all different countries, blending in perfect harmony. The world could have learned a lot from that hoagie. <laughs> What did you do that for? Because you were having a nightmare. Well, why didn't you just shake me awake? Well, then you wouldn't be wet, and I wouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Bertram, Emma Scobie is evil. She's gonna eat my brain. Oh, no. It's still gonna be hungry. <laughs> I can't believe Emma got suspended. Me neither. If I were you, I'd quit and move back to Texas. That's what you always say, including last week when I stubbed my toe. And yet, you're still here. We need to bring in a professional child care expert. You mean like a nanny? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the point is, I don't know what to do. Do what I do. Don't care. <laughs> After all, some kids are raised by wolves and they turn out fine. No, they don't. They turn into weird, feral wolf people who are too busy digging up the yard and chasing their tails to get into a good college. <laughs> Well, they still have a better chance of getting in than Luke. I need to be more like my dad. Are you gonna make her wear a 50-pound pack and swim the Rio Grande? Oh, I see one must be a problem child to get noticed around here. Uh, Ravi, how long have you been standing there? Worried about Emma. She's been locked in her bedroom all day. On the bright side, she's been in her bedroom all day. <laughs> Starting to miss the whole locked in the bedroom thing? too hard on Emma? Or do you think I wasn't hard enough? I just want to do what's best for her. Well, Bertram, what do you think? I think when you came out here and said, Bertram, can I talk to you? I should have hurled myself off the terrace. When was the last time you hurled anything? Last time you cooked. Oh, no. Emma's run away. Are you sure? Maybe it says run to play. She's not a very good speller. Every shoe store on the Upper West Side, no sign of Emma. Well, I've been sitting right here, and she hasn't come through the lobby. You've just been sitting in that chair for two hours? Of course not. For an hour, I sat in that chair. Well, obviously, I don't have to worry about you running away. I only run if something's chasing me. Oh, maybe that's Emma. Uh, no, it's Christina. I, I can't talk to her while Emma's missing. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. <sighs> Hi, Christina. Yeah, she's right here. I'm going to wring your nice to hear from you, Christina. <laughs> oh, uh, what's up? 